share a lot of special moments with people in their weddings and in their birthdays. Mundo Marquez has been playing mariachi for 10 years. For him, making a career as a mariachi musician wasn't the plan. Playing mariachi it just drew me in. It kept taking care of me, you know, in every sense, you know, like mentally and like physically. For this 77-year-old trumpet player, Pedro Sepulveda, his desire to be a mariachi started early. But I remember hearing uh, a trumpet that hit my heart right away, my soul. Once he got his first trumpet, he started going out to gigs. I was young, I was having fun. In mariachi, there's typically six different instruments. Two of them are uniquely used in mariachi music. People always ask what the name of that instrument is. It's not something that you see everywhere. I play the rhythm section, so that's vihuela, guitarron. In mariachi, the grito is well known. What does the grito represent for you? Happiness. It's natural. Uh, something that you can explain. It's something that you feel. And it's some, when you feel something, you're the only one that's feeling it, you know? Getting to call yourself a mariachi is also... It's our culture. And it's part of our Mexican culture. It's the biggest privilege to be able to represent that. It's a blessing. It's, you know, it's super special. For Sepulveda, mariachi has come full circle, playing with several generations. I really put myself as the uh, great-grandfather of all the musicians here in New Mexico. I've learned songs with Pete. We'll just walk in and you always, he, Pete always tries to lead us into that. He's like, oh, have you heard this song? It goes something like this. Just, do, just, just start playing. It goes like this. It goes like this. And we just start doing it. And then he's like, okay, now go back. Let's try it again. One more time. Okay. Reporting in Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. <laughs> There's Stephanie playing along. Well, coming up at 5, Stephanie's going to show us the history behind the music and how one New Mexico woman is continuing to push for mariachi education.